another chilly, bright, beautiful day in Tofino, but it's our last day. Uh, we're almost all packed, and we're gonna head out in about an hour. We do have to stop by in town though, because the surf school that we went to yesterday, that you saw in that wicked cool video, uh, charged Emily twice on her credit card. Once when we booked it online, and then they asked for it again when we showed up to the shop. So we gotta go take care of that. Um, after that, we're headed right back to uh, Swartz Bay to take the ferry. So today is another traveling day um, with lots of road. We'll probably swing by the Cathedral Grove again. Actually, there's a cool shot I forgot to show you guys of Cathedral Grove. Let me show you right now. And then we're heading on the road, uh, past some lookout points, past Victoria, all the way up to return the car, and then we'll get on the ferry. We'll go on the ferry to Vancouver, and then we'll take bus transit all the way up to our last uh, place, where we'll be staying in North Vancouver, and that'll be beautiful. Uh, and we're there for four nights, so a bit longer than we have been the previous few nights. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on today, and uh, obviously you guys are coming with us, so enjoy the trip. Have some breakfast. What can I have for breakfast? What do we need to eat? I just don't want it to get heated up. But yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe they went surfing or something. I would have loved to say goodbye to our hosts. We never actually got to meet them. But we had a good stay. Oh, what's this? Oh, I found a note, Emily. No, oh, that's nice. Just stopping to quickly look at a lookout that we missed on the way up here in the first place. We did, uh, gonna have to do two U-turns. Okay, well look at this. Nice. And uh, that was the lookout. We gotta get back on the road because we have places to be and uh, a ferry to catch. Gas, cheap food, dividend house. Oh, it's yeah. You get a kind of, dividend every year. Huh. Yep, I think right. we have everything, eh? Yeah. We didn't leave anything in the glove compartment? You checked it? Yeah, you checked it. Alright. I trust you. Right. Well, thank you so well, much, Harry. Congratulations again. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. Everything's working out. Everything's working out for us. <laughs> Emily's happy. <laughs> Back on the ferry we go. And we're off the ferry. We gotta go find our uh, check baggage now. Somewhere over there. to wait for the second train that'll come three minutes later that's not so busy, so that's what we're gonna do because we like having our room getting a seat. So. Yep. 
she chatted him up. I didn't. I was not really in proximity. I'm social too. She's very social. Got a couple guys trying to cut off. We want to pull them over. Morning, guys. Morning. We took the bike in there, but you won't get it in. There you go. Oh. walking to our last B&B. &B. Uh, <laughs> we we were left the cottage at 9.30 this morning and it's now almost 7. So uh, a good full day of commuting and traveling. We took uh, everything but a plane pretty much. Car, ferry, uh, bus, train, almost planes, trains, and automobiles. I'm excited to finally get all this baggage off. Emily, looking forward to getting all this baggage off? Yeah. She is on a mission, this woman. Determined, resilient, ready to take on the sidewalk with all that is her being. No one will stand between her and her last B&B. &B. Emily Clark, the last bed and breakfaster. They probably know we're here. Oh, Hi! Oh, hey, come on in! <laughs> Phil. Phil, nice yes. to meet you guys. <laughs> and this is Frodo. Frodo. Say hi, Frodo. Hello. Say hello. How old is he? Eleven. Eleven. Oh, he looks like a young... Yeah, he's very spunky for his age. <laughs> Here's your room. We're here finally. <laughs> you want to do the bed test? Yeah. 